Hello there, this is Jonathan of the SS Motion bringing you another Mega Box review. This time looking at a Halo set, or figure I guess we should say for this one. It is of course Halo Heroes Spartan Fawn. It's an absolutely fantastic figure. Uh, we will go into the details now. It is set number DKW62. It has 24 pieces, which of course are made up mostly of the armor parts, and retails for around £6. So as you can see, he comes with a little display base with his name on it. it. has a nice blue little translucent piece on the bottom that it just glows. It's nice, a little effect. Uh, you have this little uh, pole that comes up with, that can plug into his back. So you can pose him dynamically if you wanted. Of course, you could just plug him into the studs on this piece if you wanted. But obviously, Mega wanted to give you some more range and diversity in your poses. As you can see here, quite a wide leg stance that you couldn't normally get using studded base plates. So it's great that they've included that piece. This is a repaint of the recruit armor that we've seen in the Spartan multi-packs as of late. Um, it just includes a lot of great little painted details. Of course, you've got the correctly painted um, gold and orange visor that Spartan Fawn has. You have the white striping across the head, chest, um, shoulder armor, and on the legs as well, as you can see there. Um, you also have, which probably won't show up on the camera, unfortunately, I'll have a look. Oh, you've got the white striping on the back, of course. Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. You have the yellow Fire Team Majestic logo that shows up there. Um, great that they included that. I'm surprised that they included that logo because it is so small on the actual armor itself in game. But it's great that they've included it here. So thank you, Megabox, for doing that. Really appreciate it. And it looks great on this figure entirely. So if we rotate him round, we'll have a look at the weapon. Um, it is a. Um, a suppressor with a weapon skin from Halo 4. Um, this isn't how it looks in Halo 5, although I said I imagine it can pass off as the um, firing effect because it does kind of have that glow when it fires around it, but it is actually based on the Halo 4 weapon skin from multiplayer. It was added via DLC um, later on in release of that game, and it is included in the Master Chief collection if you want to look at it there. So it's great that uh, Mega Blocks have included another weapon skin. Absolutely love it on this figure. So in summary, this is a great named character to start off in the Halo Heroes line. Gives us a nice new Spartan in a sense, character-wise. Uh, we get a fantastic weapon skin, fantastic painted details on the figure itself that we wouldn't normally see in the Mega Box generic line. Um, the display rod that you can see here, absolutely fantastic for displaying them. I'm trying to do uh, simulate a Spartan slam here, which looks really cool, I think. Um, so it's cool that they include that little clear rod. Um, but overall, a fantastic little figure. Um, I don't know if it is necessarily worth the extra price point. Um, that is going to have to be up to you personally. I know some people don't feel there's enough detail on there. Um, for Spartan Fawn in particular, it matches him perfectly now. So I wouldn't complain about Fawn in particular. Some of the other figures in the he Hero Series 1 do need a bit of improvement, I would say. But this figure itself is great. So I would definitely recommend it to you if you want to go and get it. And I hope you find it because it's an absolutely fantastic figure. So that's it for this review. I hope you've enjoyed it. We'll be bringing you more Halo, Call of Duty, Assassin's Creed and Terminator reviews in the future. So don't forget to like, favourite and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye!